Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and I had this topic for a commentary that I wanted to cover. It just literally popped into my head, and I pulled out my mic, decided to hook it up. But today I'm going to be talking about Let's Plays. I'm going to be talking about, you know, this is more for everyone else. It's going to involve myself a little bit, because I'm going to bring in my experience here. But it will be, you know, Let's Plays, what I think of them, why I don't really do them, and, you know, how viable they are if you're wanting to get into Let's Plays on YouTube and you're wanting to do some of your own. So first off, what is a Let's Play, in case you don't know? Well, you know, a lot of people, I'm sure 90% of the people or higher watch this video just like, okay, dude, are you seriously explaining what a Let's Play is? Just let me explain, okay? For the people who don't know, if you're not enlightened, I'll go ahead and enlighten you, and you don't have to, you know, ask a question in the comments, you know, potentially risk uh, getting trotted on by all the other commentators, or, you know, commenters, excuse me. Now, a Let's Play is essentially just somebody takes a microphone, hook it up to a computer, or they hook it up to their capture card or whatever, and they record themselves playing a video game, and they also record their audio and their reactions and everything. And there are different types of uh, Let's Plays and everything. Some people might say, for example, if you just record the video itself, just the gameplay alone, the gameplay video with the gameplay audio, and you upload that, you don't do any commentating, no editing, nothing like that, People consider that a Let's Play. I don't consider that a Let's Play. While as yes, you could say it is, I call that one a walkthrough. Or you could call it, you know, specifically a no commentary walkthrough. Which, it's funny because we've kind of, I don't know, there's kind of been a circle back on everything. It's kind of a circle of life. I remember when gaming really first started on YouTube, it was very strange. It was extremely strange if you talked over gameplay footage. So most people just recorded gameplay and uploaded it upright, and sometimes they put text in there. Then it kind of became the norm for people to do what I'm doing right now. You know, they talk over gameplay footage. Or even another thing where they record themselves playing through a playthrough of a game, and they also record their audio. So it's like you have them in the room playing that game. But now I'm almost seeing a little bit of a demand for commentary-free Let's Plays, which honestly are hard to do because it's it hard, quote-unquote. The reason why I'm saying they're hard to do, or at least hard to put on YouTube, is because of copyright issues and everything. Because, I mean, it's kind of hard to justify it when, for example, like what I'm doing, this could be considered and debated as fair use. I'm taking gameplay footage, and I am talking over it, you know, to educate you all about a certain topic. While as if I try and debate and be like, oh, well, no, this gameplay footage I'm using that I didn't talk over is under fair use. N no, not really, because I didn't modify it in any way. And I don't own any of the rights to any of the audiovisual content either. So that's why you don't see those as often, but they're kind of coming back in demand by a bit in case some people haven't noticed. But anyways, that is what a Let's Play is. It's pretty much just a person or maybe a group of people. They're playing through a game and they're talking over it. Now, the reason why I'm covering this topic is because a lot of people I see on YouTube, most people who want to get into YouTube want to do Let's Plays. And it's because they see people like PewDiePie where, you know what, I'm going to bring up his channel here on the side. I'm not even going to edit this or anything. Uh, but you might hear me typing. You might hear the microphone moving a little bit. But uh, where is it? Okay, here we go. You see people like PewDiePie, for example, where right now at this moment in time while I'm recording it, he has over 32 million subscribers and is coming up on 7 billion views. The dude makes millions of dollars a year just playing video games and talking over them, just recording himself playing video games, and he makes millions of dollars a year. He's set, like for example, if his... Well, okay, I'm saying this because I assume that he's actually investing his money and saving his money somewhere. But pretty much, if his channel went poof tomorrow, he would be okay. He can, he, he's young and he's able to retire. He's good. And people see that and they want to do that. The problem is with Let's Plays, though, there's so many out there on YouTube. And it's just oversaturated to the point where it's like, Really, the only way you can get successful with doing Let's Plays is if you already have a channel based on something else and you have that audience. 
there are a lot of other YouTubers I've seen where there's several YouTubers, now they are getting into Let's Plays or they've been into Let's Plays, but they have a completely separate channel. So for example, like if I did that, I would have my Mr. Mario channel where I do all the normal stuff. I do videos like this. I The, the content on here would not change at all. However, I would also have a second channel. Let's call it like Mario Plays or Mr. Mario Plays. And that has all of my Let's Play exclusive content. And normally those second channels don't do as well as the main channels. Or they might be about on par. You know, it all depends. And there's there's actually several people I've seen. It's rare. But there's people I've seen where they have very good main channels. And their Let's Play channels actually do better and perform well. Will perform even better than their main channels. So it's rare of that to happen, but it can happen. And the thing is with this, a lot of things that I notice with Let's Players, especially newcomers coming in, I, I hate bringing up PewDiePie as another example, but he's the best example for this, honestly. A lot of people think PewDiePie is hilarious. They think he's awesome. They really enjoy his content. And they're just like, oh, you know, all he does is record gameplay footage and say funny stuff and do witty things over it. I can do the same thing. The problem is, they try and be him. They do things that are very similar to his mannerisms. They act like him. You know, they, they essentially try and copy his style because they think it's funny. Because they know that he's a funny guy. That he's successful with it. Now, here's the problem with that. And I've explained this to people. Because there's some people who said, oh yeah, you know what I do? It's kind of like what PewDiePie or other Let's Players do. And I just asked them straight up. I'm like, okay. Just bear with me, if you will. I myself am a viewer. It costs me nothing but time to watch videos. I don't have to pay for videos or anything like that. If I can watch PewDiePie, or I can watch you, who you are saying you're just kind of a newbie, you're kind of like PewDiePie, so that obviously it's going to imply, because nobody's awesome at this when they first start, but it's going to imply that you're pretty much a worse version of him and you're not him. Why would I watch you when I can watch the better version of that? Or it's kind of like getting a certain type of soda, you know? If you prefer the name brand stuff, and it's on sale, and it's cheaper than the off-brand stuff, why would you waste your extra money buying that off-brand stuff that's more expensive that you know you don't like as much, when you can get the name brand stuff for, you know, even less or the same price? It's really that same setup with Let's Plays. Now, one reason why I don't do them is because they are easy. Honestly, they're, they're quite easy to do. However, it's a big time commitment. And for the time commitment that you put in, you don't really get, you, you just, you don't get as much attention. You don't get as many views. And some people might say, oh, you know, so you're into YouTube for views. You're a view whore. Well, here's another logical thing, okay? One, I don't consider myself a view whore because I don't do clickbait or misleading titles or misleading thumbnails or anything like that. What you see is what you get when you click the video. However, the other thing I say to review, view whoring is, so you're pretty much saying every single person who uploads videos publicly is a view whore. Because the point of uploading a public video to YouTube is for it to get views. Right? Right? Can we agree with that? Now, it's understandable if someone said, oh, I'm not a view whore. Well, you know, really, with that logic, the only way, if you're saying, you know, you're trying to upload videos to get views that makes you a view whore, th really the only thing that you can do is just to refute that is either upload unlisted or upload privately. And it's funny because I haven't really gotten criticized of that, but there's other YouTubers I've seen where they're fighting and, you know, like one person will call the other person a view whore, but this person is also a kind of big YouTuber and they upload videos and all that. And my logic behind it is, okay, if you're calling this guy a view whore for uploading these types of videos and you upload similar content, that would make you about the same. And then when they say that they're not a view whore, I, I'm just thinking, I'm like, you know... Okay, if you weren't a view whore, you know what you would do? You would unlist all of your videos or make them all private right now. Because that would obviously mean you're not uploading for views. You are uploading, you know, solely for the pleasure of uploading and creating videos. And you don't care about views at all. Like to the point where you will even make your videos private so nobody aside from you and people you email them to can watch. 
But of course, nobody wants to do that. So that's the whole thing with it. But when I was talking about it taking a, quite a bit of time, because some people might say, oh, well, you know, it takes more time for you to do your tutorials, modding videos, any type of videos like this. Here's the thing, a video like this, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right now I'm recording the audio. After I save the audio, I'm going to put it in a folder somewhere. Probably in a few days, I'll go ahead, pull that audio file, put it in my video editor, then throw in my intro, my outro, some music, and drop in gameplay footage, and then I'll export it. And either that night or a few days later, I'll upload it onto YouTube. So there's several things I could do. Now with a Let's Play, let's say you record four hours of gameplay for a Let's Play. And then you divide it all up into 20 minute chunks. So that's 12 videos right there. And they're super easy to edit, you all. They are, I've done Let's Plays before, they are so easy to edit. The thing is, during that four hour chunk, that is four hours where you have to be dedicated to what you're doing. Uh, you, most of the time, I mean, if I'm going to sit there and do a Let's Play, do like a gameplay commentary where I'm actually sitting there and talking actively, it, mainly a good example of this is when I'm streaming. When I'm streaming, I'm not going to go and get up and get food. I'm not going to use the bathroom. Like, I have to do all that stuff before. Like, if somebody comes over, they're just like, oh, hey, do you want to hang out right now? I'm just like, well, I'm kind of in the middle of this stream, so can't really do it. Pretty much, if I have, like, a three-hour stream allocated, I have to make sure I'm dedicated to that. Now, of course, there are going to be times where I might take a few-minute intermission, you know, just to walk around, just to use the restroom, anything like that. But you all understand what I'm saying. For that point in time, for those few hours that I'm working on that, I have to stay dedicated to it. That is why I say it's, it's a bigger chunk of time being demanded from you and also if you do it like that so if you do you know an entire game upload that's kind of I don't know it's kind of lazy content I want to say compared to other type of content you would be watching because pretty much from almost every youtuber I follow I would much rather have content like similar to this like opinionated stuff um, anything like that, as opposed to a Let's Play. And another big thing with a Let's Play is, let's say I do a Let's Play of an entire game, where you're going to notice that every single time you upload a video, it's going to get less and less views, because that's an entire series. Like, nobody really wants to start a Let's Play at part 32. No, more than likely, humans are going to want to start it at part 1. But when they say there's like 50 parts of this Let's Play, they're probably not going to watch it. Honestly, I very rarely watch Let's Plays, and the only times I really watch Let's Plays are if it is somebody I really like and I don't mind watching the video footage. And the reason why I say that is because there have been several friends I've talked to where they upload Let's Plays. Like, a friend of mine, they played through, like, an entire chapter of Walking Dead Season 2, and they streamed it, and then they just left on their channel, and they messaged it to me. They're like, hey, can you check this out? Because we, we did this before. And they asked me if I saw it, and I was like, no, I'll be straight up, I didn't watch it. And they asked me to watch it, and I told them no. And they were kind of disappointed, I said, listen, I'm no, it's not that I'm being a dick, the thing is, I want to play that game. And I would much rather play it myself, as opposed to spending, like, pretty much, I think their stream was like two hours, and I said, you know, I'm just like, it's nothing against you, because I watch your other videos, but I would much rather spend that two hours playing the game myself and experiencing it with my own two hands as opposed to just watching it on screen, because those are just all sorts of spoilers, and then you're going to be playing it and everything. But you know, there's other people who are able to do it quite well. Uh, one of the few people that I do watch Let's Plays from, very rarely do I bring up names in my commentaries, but I mean, I'll just do it now, you know, as an exception. I said PewDiePie, but uh, Dashy, Dashy Games, like he he has a main channel, Dashy XP. Really funny guy. His his sense of humor is like right up my alley. And then he does dashy games, which is like the exact same sense of humor, except he plays games. And his gameplay, like his Let's Play stuff, it's it's a lot more drop-in, drop-out. And by that, I mean you can skip like 20 parts and then catch back up. I mean, unless you really, really care about the story. But what I'm saying is, you know, his is a lot more accessible, at least to me. And, you know, his stuff will make me laugh a bunch. So there's things like that that I enjoy. But a majority of the time, I really don't watch Let's Plays, I'll be honest. So would I recommend getting into YouTube with Let's Plays? Absolutely not. Because you're really not, it's going to be hard to find success with it. Now, one thing I've seen be successful, which I've been very impressed with, and again, it's not it's not guaranteed success, but from what I've seen, it is more successful than starting out as Let's Plays on YouTube, uh, have been gameplays and Let's Plays on Twitch. Uh, one of my good friends, and 
I, d I don't want to say his real name, but I don't know it. In UFC, Shifty, that's his name. I I didn't. I don't think he would care if I said his real name, but I didn't want to say it. Uh, he, I've known him for quite a bit, and uh, actually with the Xbox One, he started streaming on Twitch, and he just gets a game, he pops onto Twitch, he starts streaming, and he has a little bit of a following on there. And it's not like five people watching. I mean, it's not like huge. Like, for example, there's maybe 30, 40, 50 people watching. I haven't really tuned into his streams, but we have talked about it, you know, one-to-one. -one. But he even told me straight up, he said that he has a donation option on his Twitch. And he put it there because people wanted to donate. Like, I think there was one example where somebody requested that he play Trials, uh, the new Trials, Trials Fusion. And he said, he's just like, well, you know, uh, I don't really want to buy it. I'm still thinking about it. And they said, they're like, hey, you know what? Give me your PayPal or let me donate. I will donate the money to you so you can buy trials because I want to see you play this. So I've seen more success like that. And then there's another YouTuber I know of where they have actually, they were doing some Let's Play stuff and they were doing, you know, decently well with it too. Uh, for a starting channel, they were doing Let's Plays on YouTube and I will say, I don't want to say sexist about it, but I really do think it helped out quite a bit that she was using a face cam and that she's quite attractive. So that definitely helped out. I really think it did. But she's kind of stopped doing the YouTube thing a bit. She's doing it just not as often, but she's now streaming on Twitch a lot and she's having some success with that too. And from what I'm, I mean, what I'm saying here is Twitch is also a big time sink and it's a big time investment, but I've seen more success off Twitch than off YouTube. And I might also be saying that because I guess Twitch is more instantaneous. And by that, I mean, when you're on Twitch, it's all live and you are dealing with your fans one-to-one -one right there, which can be fun and dangerous at the same time. But I've seen it be more accessible on there because uh, even some of my other friends, you know, they've said, oh, well, you know, instead of me picking up this game or thinking about picking up this game, I'll just go on Twitch and start watching people play through it. Like, there, and that that's a thing, too, the way Twitch is set up, because it's not all pre-recorded content that just mashed on top of one another. They really only show you the live stuff. So let's say I go on there, and a friend of mine did this to uh, debate his purchase on South Park. He went on to Twitch, he looked up Stick of Truth, and he started watching random Let's Players play it. And he kind of gauged his purchase on that. And he was able to, you know, tell me about it as well, too. Also, Twitch really has more of that like three or four friends sitting on the couch playing a game together feel, which I think is cool, but also ironic at the same time, because now we're kind of in the era where people prefer to watch games as opposed to playing them, which I find is pretty funny. But yeah, that's my whole spiel, my whole spiel, I guess, on uh, Let's Plays, all that good stuff. And as I said, you know, on YouTube, really, you need that core audience. You need that base audience to have a successful Let's Play channel. And Let's Plays are honestly the hardest things to get into because it's a big series type thing. Uh, as I said, you it really helps if you have that core audience, but then you also have to play the games that they like playing and you have to stick to a schedule. And there's just a lot of things that go into it. But Twitch streaming is going to be the next best thing. And in my opinion, uh, when it comes to pre-recorded content, I mean, if you're looking, you know, to get a fan base, to get exposure, to get fans, to maybe get some success. I see more success stories and all that over Let's Playing on Twitch as opposed to Let's Playing on YouTube. I mean, that's just how it's worked, at least for me from what I've seen. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope this commentary helped you all out. Hope you all enjoyed it and hope you all were entertained by this. Anyways, signing off for real this time. Later, everyone.